Where do we store our wealth? This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. In a little town lives a man who was known for his insatiable greed. He had a successful business and possessed great wealth. Yet, it was never enough. He constantly craved more. As his wealth continued to grow, his heart grew colder. His desire for more intensified. His greed consumed him. He ended up neglecting his family, friends, and even his own health. One fateful night, an ambulance rushed him to a hospital as he was not feeling well. After a lot of tests, he was told that he only has three days to live. He felt bad as he realized he cannot bring his riches with him. He also felt sad as he is by himself. No one is beside him to give him support, for he drove his family and his friends away because of his greed. On the third day, a nurse came to his room. Thinking that it was his last day, before the nurse could say anything, he made the nurse promise to make sure that his riches goes to his family, friends, and those who are in need. The nurse said, I cannot do that, sir. He asked why. Well, said the nurse, I actually came here to apologize. Apologize? I do not want you to feel sorry for me, he said. The nurse goes, You don't understand, sir. But I came here to apologize because the medical findings read to you three days ago was meant for the patient in the next room. Your test results came out okay. You can actually go home now. This mistake by the hospital turned out to be a blessing in disguise as it made him realize that he has fallen victim to his own greed. He recognized that he has forgotten the value of love, compassion, and the true meaning of wealth. As he left the hospital, he realized the emptiness of his material wealth. He longed for the warmth of human connection, and the joy of giving, and the beauty of a life well lived. In today's Gospel reading, in the book of Luke, chapter 12, verses 13 to 21, Jesus tells a parable of a rich farmer who plans to hoard his wealth and enjoy a life of ease, only to have his life abruptly taken away by God. The parable emphasizes the uselessness of placing one's security and happiness in earthly possessions. Jesus warns against the pursuit of wealth and encourages his followers to prioritize their relationship with God and their service to others. In the Gospel reading, Jesus warns us against the dangers of materialism and greed, emphasizing that life does not consist of abundance of possession. It encourages us to re-evaluate our priorities and not be consumed by the pursuit of wealth. The parable highlights as well the uncertainty of life and the need to consider more than just our earthly possessions. We should prepare for the afterlife and focus on our spiritual well-being too. The man in our opening story as well as the man in Jesus' parable are self-centered and hoard their wealth. Jesus invites us to be generous and to share our blessings with others. Generosity and compassion are virtues that lead to spiritual richness. This passage encourages us to reflect on our own values, reminding us to seek a deeper, more meaningful purpose in life than the accumulation of wealth. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, source of all good things, thank you once again for the Gospel reading today. Thanks for reminding us to work on our riches in heaven. Please teach us to serve you as we should. 
Help us to grow in generosity and compassion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless your families, our Catholic faith, and couples for Christ.